Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's morning prayer again. Yes. We're so excited to be with you. I'm Spencer Nordak. I'm here with John Jester. Catherine hey. Hanley's over here on the aisle. We want to welcome all of our media outlets, Dish and DirecTV, Roku, Apple TV, Facebook, and YouTube. You're here with us today and your faith is going to rise up and you're going to take hold of what God has for you today. We're so excited to get to be with you and believe God with you for miracles to happen in your life today. You know what, you can share this on Facebook, you can subscribe on YouTube, you can get on social media and let your family and friends know about us. It's, it's going to be a powerful day. Let them know right now, hey, click in a morning prayer, you know, what, however they wanna do it, they can go online and uh, go to victory.com and see this program, uh, Morning Prayer, we're here for you. We've got our prayer ministers, they're there, 877-281-6297 is the number to call to give us your prayer requests or your testimonies. You can call in with anything. It doesn't matter how big or how small it is. If you are believing God for something, let us believe God with you. And then, you know what? If it happens like right away, you can call us right back and give us the testimony that it happened. It just We just prayed and it just happened. We, we get excited when we see those kind of <laughs> testimonies come in. It's just so powerful. 877-281-6297. And you know what? If you can't get through, then just keep trying. Keep, keep calling back because we will get to you, our licensed prayer ministers are here all day long to pray with you and to believe God with you for a miracle. You know what? Jesus doesn't run out of miracles. Jesus is full of miracles. He doesn't get to a point and say, okay, I only have one miracle left. He has more miracles to give to you than you could ever need. And so calling on him, asking him, believing him for a miracle is what he does for you. And so call us 877-281-6297. And the power of God is going to be available to you today. It's going to be so amazing. I want to read a scripture verse to you. We're getting started here. Uh, and this is so, this is so good. Uh, this is from the New King James Version, Hebrews chapter three, verse one. It says this, therefore, holy brethren, that's you. He has made you holy. Partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession Christ Jesus. Now, here, here's what I want to talk to you about for just a second. John's going to help me here because we're going to kind of work this here because this is going to spark your faith. Jesus is the apostle or the sent one and he's the high priest. He's the representative before God of your confession. Mm -hmm. So think about what you've been saying, okay? If you're walking around saying, I'm sick. If you're walking around saying, my feet are killing me. If you're walking around saying, you know what? My house is falling apart. If you walk around saying, you know what? My car never starts. You're not giving Jesus anything to work with. Mm -hmm. If you are speaking God's word and what God says about you, for instance, Deuteronomy 28, I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. Uh, uh, Psalms 91, uh, no evil shall befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling. What you're doing is you're giving Jesus something to work with. You're giving him something to take before the Father and say, here's what they're saying. We need to bring this to pass. That's right. Because we're putting our words and our thoughts in agreement with his will for our lives. If you're saying my feet are killing me, he can't do anything with that because he doesn't steal, kill and destroy. That's the devil's job. And if you put your mouth into agreement with what the devil does, then you, that's what you'll be walking in. But Jesus is anointed. His job is to bring your words to pass. And so the words that you speak are important and, and what you consider, John, you were talking about this earlier, yeah. what you consider, talk about that. You know, the Lord just highlighted that word consider uh, to me and what, what, what that word consider literally means is to, to fix your eyes upon. It, that word consider in the Greek has a prefix kata, which means to hold down. And so into other words, in other words, to fix your attention, to hold fast your attention, to fix your eyes on Jesus, look at him and you are a partaker of his calling. So whatever it is that you see in his calling, that 
is what you are called to be and who you are, who you are called to be. So if God didn't call Jesus to be sick, he didn't call you to be sick. And I was just talking about fixing your eyes and the Lord just prompted me. Somebody's eyes are being fixed right now. Your, your eyes are being calibrated. Your eyes are being fixed. And I want to encourage you to call that number and let us know, Hey, that's me. My eyes got fixed this morning. 877-281-6297. This is going to be a fixing morning this morning. Glory to God. And that's good for Texas because we're fixing to see you get healed. Amen. Amen. We've got several testimonies that have already come in. Sherry called in. She needed an apartment and she got it yesterday. Done. Praise God. Librato called in from Sugarland. Gallbladder healed. It was called out Friday and some specific things uh, in the Billy Burke uh, meeting that we had online and his gallbladder was healed, totally healed. And Phyllis also, this is from the Billy Burke meeting on Friday night. Uh, he called out those with walkers to get up and she got up and she walked, she got fixed, she got healed, she got well in Amen. the name of Jesus. Isn't that powerful? That's that so is cool. powerful. Absolutely. Perlette and George is calling for healing this morning. Perlette, we're agreeing with you, praying for your healing wherever you are and whatever is going on. Just lay your hands on that portion of your body that needs to be healed. Father, in Jesus name, we pray for Perlette and Lord, we believe that she receives her healing right now in the name of Jesus. John in Alabama is calling for her, for his wife, Sherry. She needs healing from cancer. Well, cancer is a name in the name of Jesus is above every name. And so you just declare it this morning. The name of Jesus is above that cancer. Lord, I thank you for shrinking those tumors. You came to destroy the works of the devil. Those tumors are being destroyed right now in Jesus name. Colleen in St. Cloud is praying for pain in her lower back uh, that is running through her legs. She has some sinus issues and needs a financial increase. Well, Jesus is able to fix all of that. In fact, he already fixed every bit of what you're going through. So you just receive it right now, Colleen. Just say, Jesus, I receive my healing. Jesus, I receive my increase in the name of Jesus. Helen in Charlotte is praying for hearing and eyesight. We're bullet, like I said earlier, I just had a sense in my spirit. God is fixing somebody's eyesight. He can fix that hearing too. So you just go ahead and take that. Last one here is Carol is praying for high blood pressure healing and to be delivered. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that that high blood pressure is being healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I know Catherine over in the aisle has some Thing. Some some prayer requests have been coming in and she's over with our licensed prayer ministers. Catherine, what's going on over there? Well, you know, I love being over here in the aisle, Pastor John, because as you can see, I'm surrounded by these prayer ministers and these are just some of the individuals. What you don't see is the whole rest of this building that is filled uh, with licensed and trained prayer ministers who know how to use their faith. They know how to stand on the word of God. And I love being over here in the aisle because um, I get to listen to these faith filled prayers as you call in at home. And so again, that number is 877-281-6297. If you can't get through, keep calling so that you can be connected. And you know, the power of God is always available to you. Um, he already d has done everything that he is going to do concerning your healing, concerning provision, concerning breakthrough in your life. But there's something about being able to come into agreement with another brother or sister in Christ. There's something about knowing um, that there, you have a faith partner, a faith buddy. And we know that the word of God says that we're to agree on earth concerning anything. There God is in the midst of us. There he is to manifest himself um, and to give us that breakthrough that we're standing in faith for. And so I want to encourage you to call us. And I've already got um, a testimony here. This is from Ted in Fairmount, West Virginia. Um, and this is from the Billy Burke meeting. He said that when he watched the Billy Burke uh, meeting last Friday, he said that he can see better and his wife has a clearer mind. So we're seeing minds restored. We're seeing physical bodies restored. And that's what we're believing to continue to see in your life this morning as you call in. I've got Kathy here from Kokomo believing for complete healing for her husband. So Kathy, I speak life. I speak the healing power of God over your husband this morning. I say that everything in his body is coming into alignment with the word of God. Joseph here from Indianapolis, Indiana, believing for um, healing from an eye issue, glaucoma. Uh, Joseph, I call your eyes healed. We're, Pastor John's just talking about fixing our spiritual eyes on our heavenly father, but I believe that he is capable of fixing your physical eyes as well this morning. Jerry from Carrollton, believing for healing for his hip and back. 
Um, I've got Willie May here from Salisbury, believing for healing of her hand and to have clear vision. And then Paula here from Monticello, believing for finances and for a new car. So we are believing and standing in faith with you. You know, Pastor John, you were just mentioning something uh, that really got me thinking. There's a passage of scripture in the word of God that says that we look to his word as if we were looking in a mirror. And we know that John chapter one talks about how in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So he is his word. And when we look into his word as in a mirror, we should see a reflection, but we don't just see a reflection of ourselves. We see a reflection of Jesus Christ himself. And so if Jesus is healed, then you should be healed too. If Jesus has a abundance of riches, um, an abundance of, of provision, you should have an abundance of provision. If Jesus has a rough restoration, then you should have restoration in your life. And we're believing to see that with you this morning. I am excited. Again, that number is 877-281-6297. Back to you, Spencer. We've got Lois called in from Stannardsville, needs healing in her sister's body. We release the power of God yes, for the sister's body to be totally healed in Praise Jesus' name. God. Geneva from Tural called in. Pastor's wife Naomi is battling cancer and large blood clots. In the name of Jesus, we command that body mm -hmm. to be restored and to be healed and all cancer to be gone in Jesus' name. Karen from Hickory, deliverance and healing for a friend from smoking and heart related issues. We release mighty deliverance in Jesus' name. And Father, a fixed heart, a fixed heart in Jesus name, yes. my heart yeah. is fixed. Yes. I will sing and give praise. We release that right now. Shirley from Austin, healing for her son's legs. I thank you, Father, that these legs in Jesus name are straightening up. Then Father, the pain is leaving and a supernatural manifestation of healing power. Uh, right now, Elizabeth from Lexington, a son-in-law's open heart surgery. Right now, Father, I thank you. You are guiding the doctor's hands. You are filling that room with your presence and bringing healing into that heart. Mary from Reading called in and needs healing for Amy and Cecil and for herself. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus healed them all. Miracles for each one of them in Jesus' name. Dolores from Port St. Lucie, Florida called in her son Jeremy's healing and needs a place to move. Father, I thank you that you meet every need. You heal every disease, every sickness, Every, 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 we release the power of God to meet every one of your needs, Dolores. And Stanley, uh, Stanley June, uh, called in from Holiday, needs healing of rotator cuff. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name for mm -hmm. freedom of movement in that rotator cuff in thank the name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Complete restoration. This is yes. a year of restoration. And God, you are re restoring that shoulder completely and perfectly. Call 877-281-6297. The power of God is moving. I can just say the ability of God is available to you. Just tap into it. Call us and let us pray with you. Yeah. John, you've got an offer. Absolutely. You know, this is the year of divine healing, divine health, divine prosperity, and divine recovery. And today's free offer is this mini book by Brother Copeland. How you call it is how it will be. What you say is how it will be. When you say what God says, you get what he says. When you say what God says, you get what he says. Or in other words, you get what you say. So how you call it is exactly how it will be. You know, there's so many, I keep hearing this, this is a common theme, Spencer. I keep hearing this theme, fix, yeah. fix, yeah. fix. Fix your eyes, fix your thoughts, mm -hmm. fix your mind, fix your heart, fix. And God is fixing some things. He's already fixed them, but that fixing is being manifest. What is that? That's divine restoration. That is divine recovery. And I'm believing that there are some people out there who are receiving that re divine recovery. So call us and let us know those testimonies. 877-281-6297. I got some stuff here that's been fixed and actually a pretty big fix, Spencer. So Denise called from California saying her son is recovering from drugs. Apparently she called the number uh, 60 days ago and he's 60 days clean. Glory to God. We're excited about that. I'm about to run on this one. This is <laughs> a, uh, Antonia call from Blackjack and says she's praying that their W-2s would be released so that they could file their taxes. We call those W-2s released, but get this Spencer. She says that the bank called and they canceled a debt 
of $22,786.74. Don't leave out her 74 cents. That is praise, so awesome. Praise, praise God. God. 877-281-6297. The phone number that you use for prayer requests is also the phone number that you can use for those testimonies we want to hear about them. Spencer? You know, I want to go to this clip right now of, of Terry Pearson's. She's talking about when we pray according to God's will, that's when he hears us and that's what he brings to pass in our lives and he responds to what you pray. Watch this from Pastor Terry. First John tells us that it's the prayers we pray in line with his will that he hears and when he hears them, then he responds to them. He wants to answer. He wants to move on our behalf. He wants to reach out towards us. And all we have to do is go to his word and find out his will. But he said, this kind of praying is, it's significant to our lives. It's significant to the world around us. It's important to God. Why? Because he wishes all men to be saved and to perceive, recognize, to know the truth, to rightly and correctly Divine, the divine truth. God wants to heal you. God's heart, God's desire, God's passion is to heal you. So just receive your healing right now. Mm -hmm. You're calling 877-281-6297 and believe in God. We're believing God with you for the power of God to show up in your situation. Mary called from Russellville. She and her husband are taking COVID shots tomorrow and wants peace regarding the shots for no side effects and for healing. We release the peace of God. Mm -hmm. We release the strength of God in your body, all your cells and tissues in Jesus name to handle it correctly. Marcia from Wellington, her son's in the military and there was a bomb and he needs protection. Father, put your angels around this son yeah, right now in Jesus him. name. Surround him as with a shield. Terry from Quicksburg, Virginia called in. Her friend Desiree he needs healing from cancer and salvation. Father, in Jesus name, you love Desiree. You love, you love her. You want healing in her life. We release the power of God to flow and cancer to leave. Alberta called from Clinton needs healing in their ears. Father, ears are being fixed. Father, you're fixing to fix these ears in Jesus name. Kenton called Thank from Midway you. needs healing for mother of stroke right now in Jesus name. The stroke symptoms, the stroke uh, effect in Jesus name in that body is changed. It's turned. Rosie from Houston needs healing from discomfort and body right now. That's flowing. Just feel it. Just sense it right now. The healing power of God. Rosie's healing your body in Jesus Jesus name. Tracy called from Clinton needs healing and direction going on a 48 hour fast. We release the strength of God, the power of God, the wisdom of God, revelation knowledge to flow in you, showing you things that you need to know. I want to go over to Catherine on the aisle right now because man, the phones are ringing. People are calling. If you can't get through, call back 877-281-6297. Catherine, what's happening there? Well, like you said, Spencer, the phones are ringing and I've got lots and lots of requests coming in. I even have a testimony to share with you and this should encourage your faith. You know, wherever you're watching from, you might be in your bedroom, you might be in the car on your way to work, you might be watching on your phone, um, but wherever you're watching from, I want you uh, to let this stir up your faith because one of the things I love most about this program is not only the fact that you can call in and receive that prayer of agreement with us and with the prayer minister here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries, but you get to join your faith with everyone else who's watching from all over the country and all over the world. So even if you are just watching this morning, you have a part to play and I want this to encourage you. This is from Mary in Louisville. She's called in saying that she's believing for healing in her right knee, but she called in and also said that her daughter called in a few weeks ago and was healed after she called into the ministry. And I don't want us to make light of that. I want you to think about the fact that this girl was healed. That is supernatural. That doesn't happen um, out in the world, but because of the great God that we serve, she received her healing. And I want that to encourage you if you're standing in faith for healing this morning, he's no respecter of persons. And if he'll do it here, he will do it for you. And Mary, we're continuing to stand in faith with you this morning for that healing in your knee, in the mighty name of Jesus. I've got Darlene here from Lakewood. Her son needs salvation, healing, and deliverance. So Father Lord, right now I lift up Darlene's son to you. 
Father, I thank you that you are mighty to save, that you are mighty to deliver. Father, I thank you that every addiction, every entrapment of the enemy, he is set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for sending people across Darlene's son's path, uh, even today, Lord, uh, that will minister your salvation power to him. And Father, Lord, I thank you for that healing, uh, having its full work, Lord. You finish what you start. And so, Darlene, we declare that over your son in the mighty name of Jesus. Connie from Parkersburg, believing for complete healing for her lower back. Uh, Glinda from Liberty, believing for shoulder and bone pain and stomach issues to be healed. Uh, Robert from Phoenix, believing for restoration in his eyes. Uh, Georgia from Tucson, Arizona, believing for complete restoration of her hair. I'm hearing a, a popular word here, that word restoration. In 2021 is a year of divine healing, divine health, divine prosperity, and divine recovery divine restoration. And one of the things I love about our God is when he restores something, he doesn't just bring it back to its original state, but he actually makes it better than it ever was before. And so we're believing that that restoration power is, in, is at work in your life this morning, in your body this morning. I just got a couple more here. Pastor John Kathleen from Beaumont, believing for healing for her family and her friends. And then Lucille here from Grand Prairie is believing for a favor and a tax issue. Uh, she says she needs $10,000. She also needs a home and transportation. And then she needs healing from anxiety uh, and diabetes and healing in her eyes. So Lucille, we are standing in faith with you that the God of all riches, the God of all glory, the God of all power makes himself uh, very real to you today that you have that favor and that you have that healing power at work in your life. He's not giving you a spirit of anxiety, but a, a, of power and of love and of a sound mind. So we declare that over you this morning. And we're excited to hear those testimonies. If you have a testimony, uh, and come, call in and, and, and let us um, share that over the air to encourage others who may be still standing in faith. That number again is 877-281-6297. Back to you, Pastor John. Praise God. Catherine was just talking to Lucille. Lucille, I want you to understand what happens when you call that phone number. When you call that number, 877-281-6297, you are reaching out to a point of contact that gives you access to not just our prayers here and not just the prayers of our licensed prayer ministers, but to people all over the world. There's a corporate anointing, Lucille. So you take what you are praying for by faith and you receive it done because of that corporate anointing. God's already done it, so you take it in Jesus' name. Kathy in Newcastle says she's praying for a hot water heater and believing for the favor to receive her new hot water heater. But she gives us this testimony. She says that she called in during the Billy Burke uh, service, the presence of God hit and her knees were healed in Jesus' name. Glory to God for the restoration yes. of your knees. Praise God. Cynthia in Prairie Grove called in and said her job, her son didn't just get one job offer, but got two job offers in the name of Jesus. Those are glorious things that are happening because of the power of prayer. And so we want you to reach out, call that phone number. Franklin in Shaw, Mississippi is believing for complete healing. Franklin, I believe in sense in my spirit. You are receiving your healing, your complete healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You just take it. Samuel in Savannah, Georgia is praying for healing and strength. Samuel, we're standing with you this morning, believing that you receive that healing. James in Kaiser is praying for a financial miracle. Well, God has plenty of financial miracles and this is the year of divine prosperity. So you reach out and you take that divine prosperity in Jesus name. Sharon in Wisconsin is praying for against depression, pain in her joints, and she starts a new job. Well, Sharon, I just want you to lay your hands on wherever it's hurting right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray against that pain. I say depression, you lift off of her right now in the holy name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that when she starts that new job, she's going to walk into not just a job, but a calling in Jesus' name. Vanessa, this is the last one I have. Vanessa in Charlotte is praying, and she says she's uh, praying to rededicate her life. Well, Vanessa, I want you to pray with me real quick, okay? You're rededicating your life and this is the, the year of divine restoration or divine recovery. So pray this with me. Say, Father, I give my life to you. I return into the household of faith. God, thank you that you will never leave me 
nor forsake me. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I return into the loving arms of the Father in Jesus name. Now, it may not be just Charlotte that prayed that prayer. There may be other people out there who prayed that prayer and you want to just rededicate your life. We want to hear about it. Not only that, but we've got some things that we want to send you. So call us 877-281-6297. Spencer? We've got a testimony that just came in. This Praise was from God. the Billy Burke meetings the other day too. Praise God. During the Billy Burke meetings, they called in and apparently she was bleeding. This is Kathleen from Waterford, Michigan. Apparently she was bleeding and the bleeding stopped during the meeting while they were talking. Wow. It just stopped in the name Amen. of Jesus. And she was believing God for some property to sell and that property sold. Glory to Praise God. Praise God. You know, when you have a need like that and you need something to happen and it's been too long mm -hmm. and you're believing God, you just want a miracle and a miracle happened. Amen. She's also believing for her husband's colon uh, needs healing. We release the power of God for that. And her son's virtual schooling has been difficult for him. You know, this is important. You know, this whole pandemic thing that has happened has really messed up uh, everybody's flow. And we release the power of God to help this son in Jesus name with his schooling and his teaching. Rosalind called from Albuquerque needs healing in her eyes, salvation for her family and debt freedom. We release the power of God to meet those needs and to be and to bless you in Jesus name. Susan called from Richmond restoration in knees and fingers after a fall in the name of Jesus. God is restoring everything that was broken, damaged, bent, whatever in the name of Jesus. Phyllis from New Orleans needs healing for uh, Michael's uncle in the name of Jesus. We release that healing power to flow. Thank Sherry you, from Effingham, Illinois, uh, financial need before the end of the week. Father, a miracle, a miracle. Father, in Jesus' name, before Friday, a supernatural miracle. Francis from Calvert, uh, believing for healing, favor, and finances. In the name of Jesus, we release every need to be met. Paul from Helena, seeking a job, uh, needs the best offer, refinancing, home healing, the feet. Jesus is doing it all. He's fixing it all. Amen. He is fixing it all. He's Amen. fixing to fix it for you in Jesus name. <laughs> I just love it that we're in Amen. Texas and we can say that. We're fixing, we're, to, we're fix fixing to see a miracle. Fix we're Amen. fixing to see everything turn around and everything change in the name of Jesus. The power of God is flowing and moving. Gladys from St. George needs favor and a relationship with her family. In Jesus name, we release the power of God for that to be uh, changed. Tammy from Florence, financial breakthrough for Tammy and Diane. They they want to be blessed, to be a blessing. Father, we release the Deuteronomy 28 blessing flow Thank in you, their Jesus. lives in the name of Jesus. The power of God is moving and it's flowing. Yes. And that, uh, you can still call 877-281-6297 after we go off the air. Mm -hmm. And we're here to pray with you, to believe God with you. The miracles don't stop when this program is over. You just keep flowing through the whole day and the power of God is flowing. I'm going to ask Catherine to come join us here as we wrap it up today. We just have a couple of minutes left and the, and the ability of God, the miracle power of God, you just, just change, change your mind. John was talking about considering Jesus, fixing your mind, yeah. fixing your attention, fixing your focus on him mm -hmm. and fixing your attention on, on saying what God says. Pastor Terry in her clip was talking about when you say what God says, you get what God has. Amen. And the power of God is available. I mean, our confession right. is so important. That's absolutely right. lining right. up with what God says. You know, Marcella called in and she's praying that her commode would be fixed and praise God, he's fixing your commode. But she says this, her arm was fixed. Her praise arm God. was healed in Jesus name. So you just take that same healing power and we're believing that you receive that freedom from alcohol. This is Jean. Uh, Anne is praying for healing from swollen uh, eye and uh, Carol is praying for pain to go away. We believe that that pain is leaving you right now in Jesus name. We want to pray over these prayer yes, requests. We're going to, Glory keep, to God. keep it on the victory channel. We have so much for you. Just keep watching. We have programs for you all day. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, we release our faith for all these requests. Yes, in do, Jesus Lord. name. Yes, we Lord. rejoice with all these testimonies yes, in do. Jesus we name. Do. And we're excited about the miracle flow that you are releasing in our lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are the apostle and high priest of our faith yes, in Jesus name. You, and we receive all that you have for us in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bless you.